Hello, hi, I'm Patricia, and I'm here to help you through these energies. Now, one of the things that you may not be aware of is that your body has areas that can detect and, you know, honestly start transforming you. So I want to help you with how to unify for physical union. Now, there's a couple of things to know. When you go through a really huge surge of energy, I, I'm going to be straight up. Sometimes you can feel as though something is lacking. You can feel very frustrated. You can f even feel overwhelmed. Now, as you can see, I'm staying in a hotel room. I'm here on the Cape. That's something I always hoped I'd say. I'm on the Cape. I'm going to the Cape. I'm actually in the Cape Cod area outside of uh, Boston. Got my son set up at university. Um, we, I mean, it's like it, everything has been fabulous. The area around here is fabulous. The temperature, the ocean, everything is fabulous. I'm definitely a water person, so I love getting to the ocean. I couldn't come this far away from Chicago and not get to an ocean. So back to how does this stuff affect you when you feel frustrated? Because that's what I've been hearing from people. And it's sort of a paradox that you can feel like you move along and you do accomplish things in your journey and yet you do feel frustrated. Worse, you can feel overwhelmed with that frustration and without direction. Now, this is why I have my series of classes because those classes not only teach you but up-level you for the next level of your journey. There are things that will get you through. There are things that have gotten you through, like almost like leapfrogging, okay? But I'm going to give you comparison because I'm here at the Cape, okay? Imagine that there was a storm offshore, and that storm created a surge, a wave, and then you crashed down, and when you kind of came to, you realized you'd survived, okay? And that's a lot of you. You're surviving this but you're not really thriving in it. Now, the difference between the people who come ashore or survive a storm or a shipwreck is this. They sometimes realize that they have to start building. They have to build shelter. They have to build a fire. They have to find food somehow. You're different, okay? We are doing this in modern times. We are doing this with the things that you brought packed into you. You are supposed to be here. That's one of the things that is hard for people. They will feel like somehow they're an imposter or they thought they could do it and they can't or they worry that they're going to fail. You're here because you're supposed to be here. You're here because you belong here. You're here because you wanted to do this. You were chosen, okay? You were chosen because of your attributes and experiences. Now, these are existential experiences, not just experiences of, I woke up, I had a dream. That kind of stuff happens at certain levels, of course. So do sleepless nights. So what are some of the hallmarks of this energy? Head energy, head uh, confusion, mental scatter, overwhelm, headaches. What are some of the other ones? Feeling like your chest needs to burst open and yet you can't get it there. Like it feels like this sense of urgency. Like you want to run, you want to hide, or you just want to bolt. You want to retreat. Okay, but you don't really feel defeated. Yeah, it feels like that. You can feel queasy in your stomach. That queasiness is part of the upliftment. Please, please, please eat light. Okay, if you feel queasy... Don't try to shove more food down. That is not going to help you. Don't binge eat. Don't give it in to like addictive type of eating habits. Okay. Do your best with it. And again, I have ways to help you with that. I have the what to do about it. Now you have parts of you that actually need to open further. You have additional energy connections that are intended to support your life. You have additional energy connections to infuse 
energy into your life and divert it back to you and away from whoever is sucking on your energy. If you're in the wrong relationship, it's going to show up because those people will take your energy any way they know how. Any way they know how. They will needle you. They will battle you. They will be passive aggressive. They'll take your money. They'll take the housing you offer. Anything. You really need to look at yourself. And really, instead of focusing on them and what may be happening, we have a way to get you in the mode of retaining and infusing yourself with much more energy than you may even realize. And sometimes you don't even know that you need it until you need it. And that's fine. But that's why it is coming up right now. Because you have to. Okay, there's no going backwards. And that's a good thing because that means you won't slip into a crack or fall through the crevice. But on the other hand, if you don't know what to do, it can make you feel like you've reached something and you're pausing and looking around going, hello, what's going on here? Physical pain and discomfort is not something I believe in. Okay. I know there's people out there that just say, you know, your pain is an indicator. Usually pain is something that needs to go. It is something that you need to pay attention to. But not everything is physical pain. It can feel like uh, a pain that's coming from another source. It can feel like emotional pain, like loneliness, like emptiness, but not in a good way. You know, there's emptiness like when you clean out a closet and you've donated things and you've swept it up and wiped the insides and you're like, ah, that was a job well done. And then there's emptiness that feels like a bottomless pit is going to open and you're going to go backwards. Okay. I don't believe in people going there or staying there or being stuck there whatsoever. What do you do in the times of your frustration and urgency and overwhelm? Well, this is when it's important to do some basic stuff. Number one, sleep. Number two, if you need to get to sleep and you're drinking a lot of coffee, don't drink coffee to get you through the day. It is not going to help you in this time. Believe me, I know because I've been that person. There's a difference between a delicious cup of coffee and that 10th cup of coffee that is not going to help you whatsoever and actually will fry out your circuitry. Do you need to feel again? In other words, do you need to feel your purpose? Do you need to feel like why to begin with? Why did this even start to begin with? Like, where is it coming from? Why? What is the reason? What is the reason? Yeah, sometimes you do need reasons. And we have that, we have not only explanations, we do live Q&A. We do live on the spot intuitiveness of what's necessary, what's needed. And it's going to be for that moment. It may not be for the rest of your life. It is going to get you through that hump. So have you been racing along and you feel like you've hit a speed bump? You know what happens to a car if they go over a speed bump? They break the undercarriage. We don't want you to break your undercarriage going too fast. Back to basics. Back to how do you unify yourself? How do you do the upper unifications with the brand new energy connections, portals, infusions into your body? Like directly into your physical body. Because you should feel it uplifting you. You should feel like there's something buoying you up every single day when you do it properly. And my modality, my method is the way to do that. You have higher senses in addition to your first five senses. Sure, you have touch, taste, smell, sight. You have, you know, many other senses with that. You know, like with touch comes feeling. With feeling comes sensing other things. It comes with emotion. Tasting things. But do you know those people that can taste little components within foods? Like wine tasting people. And they're like, oh, it has hints of cherry and walnut. And, you know, they can literally taste 
the earth and the ground that the fruit was grown on that then became a wine or coffee you know the coffee has hints of chocolate and almonds and and there's not even almond added or chocolate added to it right how is it that some people have these super aware senses and they don't get overwhelmed well some people have had it opened specifically because it's a part of their gift and it will be a part of their profession so what i'm saying is that when you get back to your basics okay and you begin to open these other parts of yourself what other gifts and skills are you carrying with you that is a part of you, that it's a part of your purpose that is intended to not only expand your life, expand your life, provide you a living like handsomely. You know all those expressions where they say, do what you love and love what you do, right? But what if someone loves to smell things and just like, you know, embrace the aroma what if you like to make candles what if you like to blend oils or you know some other fragrances you are a top-notch you know fragrance designer or something right okay now that may not be everyone because those are just some examples what if you love to make cheese or what if you want to do artisan quality something and you can feel it welling up on you you need your senses you need your senses open. You need your entrepreneurial spirit back. You do not need to feel frustrated and stuck. You see, all these things kind of go together because they're a part of you as a glittering, fascinating, multi-faceted person. You have a multi-faceted personality and there are different aspects of you, okay? Sometimes you're going through the peaks and the valleys, okay? When you're in the peak, okay, this is not a manic phase. What if we get rid of some of that stuff, the mania, the obsession, and we just simply enjoy these peaks and we're like, woohoo. And then a valley really isn't a fall or a crash or a crash and burn. What if it were much more modulated? What if it were to smooth out? You do that with the energy bodies that are a part of your aura, that are a part of your essence. They're a part of what makes you unique. You're unique because you have that blend. You have these sides of you. Yes, you can have a similar you know, facial structure to people in your family or similar build to other people that you may know or from your nationality. However, when it comes to what truly is making you unique, it's not only your vibration, it is what you are bringing here, it's what's packed into you. That is why you are not posing, you're not an imposter. You just simply need my help to help you develop this. So how we start is we start very, very easily. We start with essences and we start with the air, okay? We start with the elements, air, water, fire, earth, and we combine them. So we are starting with air. That means breath. That means getting breath to deeply open your channels. Other people do not know how to walk people through this so that they get it. They can say it, but they are not proving it. And I have years of proof with people where they've gone from, you know, the real deep valley up to not even their top peak yet because they keep going with it. What do you do in times of frustration, urgency, overwhelm? You're going to learn that as well. And the next thing, feeling the lover, feeling the etheric touch that really means something. And you know that it is coming from the right exact source, okay? It is not some fake thing. It is not some kind of weird thought form, okay? I got to say that just because there are people who get scared. There are people who are superstitious. Please set aside these mental constructs and focus on actually the experience of the etheric lover. This takes you beyond messages. Now, a lot of people hear chatter. They're like, well, I was feeling today that they were saying this or that. 
beyond the mental chatter, beyond the messages, beyond the things where you're confused and you're trying to use, you know, like this and, you know, you're trying to like divine something instead of using the parts of you that are literally wired up for this, literally intended to be open, expanded and the wiring for it, the circuitry is, you know, getting up and running. Touch and caresses from another dimension. Now, we're going to be starting this. I carry you through uh, about a four-week period of this. And by the end, you will be feeling. So please join. Please look at the links below. This is intended to very easily help you get on the next level where you belong and so that you can get going with what you need to do, who you're supposed to be with who you are supposed to be, okay? Your soul knows where, but your soul knows that you need to be and that you need to be with, okay? That is the nature of it. You need to be with, you need to be connected. Do you still feel the symptoms, but you feel a disconnect? Then join, okay? I would love to help you. I'm here to give you answers and we have a lot of fun. This is a closed, um, safe group. It's a lot of fun. We laugh a lot. It is not all doom and gloom. Come because I guarantee you, you are not alone. Okay, please join. Thanks so much. Bye.